Hey everyone, I'm Natasha and I'm back with my new video on Biosphere Reserves of India Part 2. Before continuing this video, please watch Part 1. In the previous video, I have explained 11 Biosphere Reserves of India out of 18, which are also a part of World Network of Biosphere Reserves based on UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Reserve program. Now, in this video, I'll be explaining the rest 7 Biosphere Reserves of India. So let's start now. So we have to start from the 12th one, that is Manas Biosphere Reserve. It is located in the state of Assam and this reserve has taken its name from Manas River. Manas River is a major tributary of Brahmaputra River. Also, this biosphere reserve is known for its rare and endangered endemic wildlife species such as Assam Roof Turtle, Hispid Hare, Golden Langur and Pygmy Hog. Moving to the next one, it's the 13th Biosphere Reserve of India, that is the Hang Dibang Biosphere Reserve. It is in the state of Arunachal Pradesh and the habitat here ranges from tropical wet evergreen in the river gorges to subtropical, temperate, alpine and permanent snow. This reserve is part of Siang and Dibang Valley and key fauna to remember are Mishmitakin and musk deer. Alright, so the 14th one is Great Run of Kutch. We all know about this, right? It is in the state of Gujarat and is the largest biosphere reserve in India. And not only this, Run is largest saline and marshy tracts in the entire world and usually have very low rainfall and sparse vegetation. This reserve also covers part of finest grassland of Asia called Banni. So the next time question is asked where Banni grasslands are found, we should know that it is in the state of Gujarat and the name of the biosphere reserve is Great Run of Kutch. Next, we have to remember that Indian wild ass is a key fauna that is found in this reserve. Fifteenth one is Coal Desert. It is in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Snow leopards are usually found here. And it includes, very important, Pin Valley National Park, Chandratal, Sarchu, and Kibber Wildlife Sanctuary. Next one is Dibru Saikhova Biosphere Reserve. It is in the state of Assam, covering two districts, Dibrugarh and Tinsukia. So we should know that Brahmaputra and Lohit rivers are to the north of this biosphere reserve and Dibru River is to the south of this reserve. Then key fauna are white-winged wood duck, water buffalo, black-breasted parrot bill, tiger and raped langur. The second last is Sesha Chalam Hills. It is in the state of Andhra Pradesh in its eastern ghats. It was designated as Biosphere Reserve in the year 2010 and it is spread across two districts, Chittur and Kadappa. Tirupati, we all know about this temple. It is in Tirupati Balaji is in the state of Andhra Pradesh. It is a major Hindu pilgrimage town and Sri Venkateshwara National Park is also located in these ranges. Plus, it is home to a number of endemic species including the famous red sanders and slender loris. The last information to remember here is the native population of the reserve includes the tribes of Yanadis. Alright guys, so the last biosphere reserve of India is Panna Biosphere Reserve. It is the third biosphere reserve of Madhya Pradesh. What are the first two biosphere reserves? First one is Panchmari Biosphere Reserve and the second one is Achanakmar Amarkandak Biosphere Reserve. This reserve is the catchment area of Ken River and Tiger, Cheetal, Chinkar, Sambhar and Sloth Bear are usually found in this biosphere reserve. 
Alright guys, so the second part of my video on the topic Biosphere Reserves of India ends now. Hope you've liked it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I'll come up with a new video soon. Till then, enjoy learning and work hard because ultimately there is no substitute to hard work. Thank you guys.